Alrighty, so guys, we're going to cover the marketing in December now. Um, look, I always want to share a story. So a few years ago, when we were first starting Code Five, we had 27 members, and um, one of the key times of growth for us was in December and then leading into January. So <clears throat> at the time, we gave away six free personal training sessions. So um, we were just doing like one-on-one -on -one sessions. Um, I still remember the post. I did a post on my Facebook page um, and also the business page, going, you know, if you want um, six free sessions, comment below. Um, and then what we did over in between that Christmas break, um, Christmas day, and also uh, New Year's day, we started to contact everyone to book them in. So that was a promotion that we ran all of December and it worked really, really well for us. We're like, you know, that year we went from, you know, pretty much about 27 members around, you know, September, October to the to next year, we had over 500 members in our facility and that kind of all kickstarted um, in, in December. But, you know, one of the things that, always happens it always starts with our mindset as business owners so you know people are still buying in december and people still want to train in december and i think you know one of the things that i see that that's happening a little bit at the moment is you know people are kind of switching off their business for you know end of november and into december what that has that has a, like an effect on us in the in the first quarter of next year because with marketing and especially with sales it's all about momentum so you don't know that you know, by necessarily turning on a funnel in January, that it's going to be super successful um, because January, there's going to be more people marketing in January than ever before on Facebook. So I was talking to our accounts manager from Facebook, she said that the lead cost is going to be the highest it's ever been in the first quarter of next year. So by, by turning it off and switching off in December, you're just really going to hamstring yourself to not have a really successful start to the new year. Right, and always use our same principles. I know with all the all the guys at, at our gym, um, we're saying you can still lose weight in December um, and your goals don't stop in December. And that's the same with our business goals. So you wanna make sure that you're still hitting your lead, lead targets. So you know, at our gyms, our lead target's 25 per week at the smaller gyms or 50 per week at the bigger ones. Um, so you really need to push and you need to be creative um, to be able to get that lead target and to continue to grow. But I want you to know it can be done. I've done it before, I've done it over the last three years, um, you can do it, but it all starts with your mindset. If you're preparing to switch off mentally, if you've kind of gone, you know, it, December's a bad month to market, I'm telling you it's not true. I'm gonna show you a few things here today that's gonna make sure that this December is really, really successful for us with a few, you know, basic strategies, but when implemented at a really high level and consistently will make you stand out from the crowd. Okay, so firstly, you've got to have a game plan, right? So, you know, I'm going to run you through a few things here today. I'm going to talk about um, a way that we can get um, our members buying um, some gift cards, um, also some campaigns, a giveaway funnel. So at the start of the video, I mentioned that giveaway funnel that, that we did. Um, and I remember I was sitting at my, my grandma's kitchen um, on Boxing Day, frantically messaging people and getting them booked in. Um, so I'm going to share with you a funnel that I did last year. Um, and then also some pre-sale for your January challenges, because what will happen, um, you will get a few suspensions in December. Um, so what we can do is we can start to pre-sale your Jan challenge to keep your debits uh, running at a really high level so you don't lose any money, but then it is also going to cash flow your January marketing as well. Okay, so firstly, we're starting off with gift cards. So this year at Code 5, we're doing you know 28 days for $28. Okay, so what our, what our members can do is they can buy a voucher for a friend. Um, they just buy it for $20, $28. Now, we're starting to market that next week. Okay, so all our, um, all our key marketing is going out in the next few days. I'm going to talk to you about some distribution stuff at the very end. Um, definitely stay around for that. It's going to show you a few ideas on how you can do it. Um, but, you know, in Australia, there's $10.7 billion this year. 87, 85% of millennials spending over $1,000 on gifts. Okay, so gifts are still a really big part. And if you think about our clients, um, you know, the reason we priced it at $28, $28 is it can be a stocking filler, right? They can buy it for people at their workplaces. They can buy it for, you know, cousins, things like that. People who, you know, aren't, not, aren't necessarily like really, really close to, um, to your member because ideally probably before this time, we've got their partner in, we've got their kids in and things like that already. Um, so we use this as a stocking filler. Now, guys, you could, you could of course, charge this at 197 um, if you like, but then we're also going to use it as an evergreen marketing strategy, which means we're going to give it to other clubs or our um, affiliates and our social media feeds where people can buy it in January as well. Um, but this will be a little bit of an early December pre-sale. Right, so you want to create a package 
um, that people can buy them by themselves, right? So we do 28 days of unlimited training. Um, we stopped calling it like a 28 day transformation program because we found that over the years when we just called it 10, 28 days of unlimited training or 28 day gym membership, it's a lot easier to buy for someone rather than giving someone a transformation program. There's a lot of lot softer way to do it. Um, and I would definitely go along that avenue as well. Now, the easiest way to market it is obviously through your clients. So what you can do is make up like a basic Wufu form, um, which just has their name, email, phone number, or any way that you can grab their details. Um, and then you will text it out to all of your members. Just, you know, hey guys, we've got our, um, our Christmas gift cards are, are getting created over the next few weeks. If you would like to buy one or a few of them, please enter your details on the link below. Um, and then on that page, it just has um, their name, their phone number, and then how many gift cards they want and also asking for permission to debit their account on, on receiving that Wufu back so you can get the money and then you can go out and buy as many gift cards as you want. Now we generally get our gift cards from like Vistaprint, it's like pretty, pretty cheap, they make nice ones, you can get them from Quick Copy, um, but just make them nice, make sure they're you know, in an envelope and you know, look really professional as well because they will be given as a gift. Now, on top of that, you can email out your entire database, all right? You wanna make one rule that it can't be for current members or of people um, who have been to, been to Code 5 in the last six months, right? So then you've got that whole email database. You can text them as well if you like, right? But then you start to use your sporting clubs or affiliates or B&Is that you're involved with. So then what you can do, you can reach out to the presidents of those clubs and go, hey guys, we've got this awesome you know, Christmas gift card. If anyone wants them, you know, please just let us know, fill in the details and we'll get them out to you. Then also using your social media feeds, okay? So you can post them on your wall, on your, on your Instagram wall and stories are really, really big at the moment. Using your Instagram um, story and also your Facebook story. Um, not a lot of people use their Facebook story, but make sure, you know, just as marketing, if you're posting on your Instagram story, put it on your Facebook story as well. Um, and then also you have your friends, right? So any close friends that we have, I always say that our network um, doesn't get utilized enough. So if you have, you know, your couple of close friends and people you play sport with, is you can personally reach out to them and go, hey, you know, I know Christmas is around the corner. We have a few of these gift cards. If you want to give them to anyone at your work, just let me know and that they're $28, I can get them made for you. So that way, what you're trying to do in any form of marketing, you want to create the offer. Now, this is a great offer. Okay, and then the, the next step is to tell as many people as you can. And I will elaborate more at the, at the last slide on, on, to give you some ideas on this. Um, and then you're simply just going and actioning them. That will all be done over about the next nine days. So you give people a date on when they can choose to buy them for. So there is a scarcity um, tactic on that. So you go, you know, you have until December 5th um, to opt in and then we're ordering them all on the 6th and actually live, live by that scarcity. Um, it makes it easier for you for ordering. And then it's an actual promotion where people will start to act. But you're getting in much earlier. You don't want to do it in December because they've kind of already prepared a few of their Christmas gifts and things like that. So guys, that's the gift card. Um, make sure you do it. You can choose what price, what length of trial you want. Um, but I would definitely do it paid. We've done it years before where we just give them out and it never works as well as getting you know 30 or 40 people who buy compared to giving out like three or 400 just for free. Okay, so now the campaigns, right? So I always tell everyone that we should never turn off our Facebook ads, okay? So um, that includes in December, it includes on Christmas day. Um, so we wanna keep those up. So I'm gonna give you a um, few different like campaign offers that you can run. And I'll also share um, the campaigns that we'll be running at our clubs and a few of our clients as well. Um, so firstly, you've got your, you know, buy now, pay later, right? So. Um, we're all gearing this towards our January challenge. So our January challenge will be for nine weeks starting on January the 13th. So you can use that um, as a reference when I'm explaining this. So, you know, in December, we can go like, if you join in December, you don't pay until January 13th. Okay, so then what we're doing is we're just starting to pre-sell our January challenge. So on our challenge, we have a KPI of 100, 100 new members at each location for those. So if we can sell 30 or 40 in January, then we're very well ahead of the game. Now, this second one is actually an offer um, that I did with a client last year. We didn't do it at our gyms, but it works really well. And that's where they got a 70% off membership until the start of the challenge day. Um, so what the, what the member's doing is in you know, early December, mid-December, they get to join on their gym membership. It might cost them, say, $14 a week for unlimited group training. 
Um, but then what happens, they're signing a like an agreement that starting January 13th, their payments will go to 65 per week for you know 12 or 24 weeks, depending on whatever um, the contract length is. Um, but again, it's just a basic discount offer. But the reason I like this is you're getting people to put some skin in the game, okay? So it's gonna help cover your Facebook ad spend. And I do just always like people getting in a rhythm of paying some kind of direct debit in my personal businesses and also my clients as well. Then you can go buy now and get a month free, okay? So just like a different way to do this. So they go like, yep, if you, if you buy now in December, they can pick their start date and they get their first month free. Now to do this, to make sure you get return on investment, that would be buying a 24 week program. So we do 24 weeks of Code 5, I recommend everyone do the same. Um, but you wanna just make sure that because you're giving away a month free as a part of that contract, you can either give it to them um, as a part of that contract, or you can say you get your first month free and then your 24 weeks starts um, after that month. Okay, so just a kind of another way to do it. Um, but then you can honestly just pre-sell your January challenge. So, you know, say your say your January challenge, like you know, you're selling it for for nine weeks for nine hundred dollars. You can go look if you join now um, and pay up front in December, you get it for six hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, so there's a lot of different ways that ways that you can do this. I rec I recommend picking one or two um, out of this list and start to pre-design your ads out. Um, so that way you can test them. So if one's not working, you can like quickly change over. Um, but they're all kind of working in the same one. To increase your debits, obviously number two is best because um, you do get some of those debit runs in, in December. Um, but then all the others, we're just pre-selling to have a massive start of the new year because I just want you to imagine there on Christmas day, you're there with your family, you're relaxing. Imagine how much more relaxed and comfortable you will feel when you have you know, 20, 25, 30 people already pre-selled for your January challenge and you know when their debits are going to start um, and you know you're, you're well ahead of the rush in January because in January, it's absolute dynamite um, time to market our businesses. So you just wanna, wanna pick one of those there. Here was a nice little flyer I picked up from, from an anytime. Um, pay, no, pay no fees till 2019. So um, they did that in like late November, um, but I would run this more in December um, where you can set a date that you know, they don't pay till, till day, one of the, day one of the challenge. Um, so guys, if you have any questions along the way, I will have a bit of time at the end. So just make sure you're, you're writing them down and I'll, I'll answer them all for you as well. Now guys, a giveaway post, okay? So these posts are absolutely phenomenal, all right? They do work really well. Now they work better off a personal page than they, they do off a business page. But I recommend if you're going to do this, I'll do it off both. Okay, so the, what I'll do here for this one, um, you could do it in the start of December. Um, or you could do it on, on Christmas day. Like the way I would do it would be in December, you start to populate the post and you give the giveaway away on Christmas Eve or Christmas day or Boxing Day. Alrighty, so then you just get the comments to, uh, to populate. One of the best ones we ever did um, was where you could win, um, win an eight week challenge for you and a friend and they had to tag their buddy. Um, but you'll see one here on my personal page and we're giving back at spring. Um, you go, so, you know, it's December, so it means um, it's time to get that summer body or time to prepare your, your New Year's um, resolutions. Win four weeks of training for you and a friend. All you need to do is comment below and tag a train buddy. I'll make sure everyone gets a prize. Now, the reason why I did that is because I wanted just to pre-frame that everyone who commented would get something, whether it's a member and they got a discount for a MyZone or a discount for supplements or whether it was a non-member and they got to choose whether they wanted like you know 14 days of free training. Um, so then you generally give this, give this away. So you give a person and, and their friend free training, but um, you'll see off this post, they got 333 comments. So then what I was able to do is to go in and private message those people um, to give them, um, give them an offer, say that they've run a complimentary prize because I've already pre-framed that they're going to win um, a, a complimentary prize that everyone gets something. Um, so then what you do is you just make a woofu, you decide what those complimentary prizes are, um, you just connect with them, you get to add the friends that they've tagged on Facebook, um, and then you just have a, have a conversation with them in private messenger as well. Um, so that one's really simple. I'll do, it on your, I'll do it on your personal page, do a similar post on your business page, have a nice community image, really good giveaway. Um, one of the ways that um, you can do it is to get them to opt in instead of comment if you prefer. You can reach out to me if you want the, um, a few different ways to do this, but just as simply as this, very, very common. 
Um, and you're going to get lots of leads to be able to contact and to sell into December into your, into your January challenge as well. Now, obviously, if you're having a break over Christmas, right, if you're deciding not to work between Christmas and New Year's, which is cool, um, you just want to make sure you get that post up in the next day or two. And then you'll say you're giving the winner away on, say, like December 9th. So then you have that week to contact everyone, all right, and give them their prize and get them locked in for your January challenge or their 14-day trial or, or whatever that might be as well. Now, the big one. Okay, so the pre-sale for your $10,000 goal, all right, to try and get 100 people pre-sale on your challenge. So what we do with it with our nine-week challenges is we charge a $99 entry fee, okay? That's for new people and for our current members as well. But what's going to happen in January, as I said before, you're going to have people who are going uh, away, they're having a break um, for like two weeks, which, you know, for every person that goes away, it might cost you like $200. Um, so we want to make sure that we increase our debits during the month of December to reconnect and recommit with our current members um, and then also have some upfront capital to spend on our January marketing as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make an epic nine-week challenge. If you want our exact module on how we do challenges, our We One one's a bit different. Um, we do like people can have a weight loss goal, they can have a performance goal or a strength goal and they get to go into different teams. Um, but what we're going to do in December, we're going to start to call our members, text them, email them, and let them um, register their interest for the, for the nine-week challenge. Then we'll give them a call, we'll lock them in, we'll pick their group, we'll get them on the Facebook group and take that $99 in December. Okay, then you've got your ex-members as well. So you can reach out to your ex-members. Again, we do like um, texts and emails um, and get them back in because sometimes it's funny, I was calling like an ex-member um, yesterday, she goes, wow, you've called it the, the perfect time. I was just thinking about what I was going to do in my training and she came back down. Um, so depending on your list, like we use Close IO, which is just an automated dialer. So we can call like 200 people in you know, an hour or two if they don't answer. Um, but just by committing to contacting 10X members every day, you know, maybe 15 for the first like 15 days of December, you're going to contact 300 people. Um, you can give them a call and just follow up with a text message. And then just invite them down to, to your challenge. All they have to do is pay $99 over the phone for entry. And then you can explain all the, all the details for that. Um, then, of course, Facebook ads. So, you know, what I kind of covered in the, in the second slide was all the types of Facebook ads you can run. Um, if you want help with ad copy and imagery and stuff, just reach out to me. Um, we can help design you that and we can run your ads in, in January as well. Um, but you've also got your lost leads. Now, your lost leads play right, is any member who has, any lead who has opted in but hasn't come in for a membership during the year. Now, this is pretty high. So generally, like gyms will get, you know, between 20 and 40% of their leads in. So over the whole year since January, there's probably about 60%, 70% of people who have inquired and you haven't come in. So all you have to do is you've got to go through your messages. You can go through wherever you hold your leads, whether it's Google Drive or gym leads or whatever it might be. Um, you know, you've got text messages in your phone, you'll have email inquiries, you'll have Facebook Messenger inquiries, you have Instagram Messenger inquiries, and just go through and touch base with them, right? And set yourself a goal, be really hard on yourself. It might not be $10,000 for you. So 10,000 for us is just 100 members, you know? Um, but you might set a goal of 20,000 or 30,000, or your goal might be 5,000. Um, but you want to set yourself that clear, direct goal in December, so then you know what you have to get and how many people you have to get to do that. Now, in terms of the join-up fee, I have seen some people charge up to $299 join-up fee. Um, it just depends how much effort you put into your challenge, you know, what's included, if you have celebrity speakers and things like that. Um, again, we run these quite often. So if you want any ideas um, or a video, just reach out to me um, and I can send it. So guys, now we've got the plan, right? So you want to pre-sell your gift vouchers. You want to make sure you have your ads loaded. So we'll do some work on them. Um, and then we also want to pre-sell our challenge to our current members and ex-members. And every person that you get, and make sure you write this down if you have a notepad, every person who opts in for your January, uh, for your December offer, whether it be a member um, you know, doing the, doing the challenge or someone doing the buy now, pay, pay later, make sure that you're asking for a referral. Every time you take a payment, as soon as you get the payment, whether it be over the phone or in person, just immediately ask if they have a friend or family member who they would like to do it. 
because what we find is when you have a support network around you, um, is it can can help you get better results. You're gonna get great result, results regardless, um, but if you have someone close to you, then we do find it's a little bit easier. So then that way you're trying to turn those one sales into maybe two or maybe three or maybe four sales as well. So now we're gonna cover how you're going to distribute it. So if you have a pen and paper there would be really good um, because I'm gonna show you a, a few ways that you can distribute these offers. Now that you have them all set, um, it's really about just telling the world about them. So, you know, first of all with X members. So with X members, you want to call them ideally and then you can send them a text message and an email as well. Okay, so whether that's about, um, you know, the, the January challenge or whether, you know, they can buy now or pay later, you've just got to decide what you're offering each list. Um, but that's the easiest way to do it. Now, in terms of a member text, right, you're going to be sending a couple of member texts. So one, firstly, pretty much like over the next couple of days about their gift cards. Okay, so then they can get in, you know, they've got it, it makes it really easy for you. Um, you're also going to send your, your member text about the January challenge as well, probably in, a, in about a week or two, um, just to get all the, all the opt-ins for that. And then you want to make sure you're personally contacting them um, to get their interest and set a really hard goal and a really um, strong KPI and do everything you can to get that off your members as well. Now you can use, for anyone who uses MindBody, um, we use like a MindBody like bump, which is just essentially pops up a message in their app. So if you're using any apps and things like that, um, this is like really, really handy to do just to remind them about anything, that, anything that's happening in the gym. Um, and then of course, face-to-face, -face, right? So face-to-face -face is always best. So when you're in your groups, you know, over the next week, you're like, guys, remember you've got till December 5th um, to buy your 28-day uh, 28 day, um, gift cards for your friends and family. Don't miss out. We sent you a text about it. Just make sure you get it back to us. Um, you know, we're having lots of interest. This is looking, looking really, really good. Um, and then posters in the gym as well, right? So if you're having an eight-week challenge, like having posters um, around the gym will help. Or if you have TV screens, making sure you put them, up, put them up in there. Like for these kind of ideas, it's always best to go to your big franchise gyms like Fitness First, Good Life, Virgin Active. They always do this really, really well. Um, so you can kind of copy that. We have TV screens in our gyms. We have whiteboards that you can use, use as well. Now, of course, you have influencers. So if you have any influencers um, at your gym, any Instagrammers or, or anything like that, you can get them to post on your behalf as well. Um, really, really good tactic to do on, on any, type of, any type of promotion. Then you have your 250 list. So you should be contacting 10 people out of your personal network every day by phone, phone call or text. Just doing this single-handedly is going to change your, your life and business. You'll get more contacts than you ever have. You'll get more leads. You'll get to help more people. Um, and it also, once you kind of get to a couple of weeks and you realize you might not have anyone to contact, it really makes you get outside of your comfort zone and go and meet new people as well. Um, so with everything, if you set yourself a personal goal, so, you know, in your locations, you have your clients, right? And you might have a few trainers that work with you, but set yourself a personal goal that, you know, off my own personal network, I'm going to get 10 or 15 people to join up for this January challenge. I believe in it so much, it's going to change their life. And that's what we call about your 250 list. So that's, you know, your friends, family, your sporting, you know, um, sporting mates and things like that. If you go to a church or anything. Um, then, of course, you've got SEO. So if you're running Google AdWords, um, you need to change your promotions um, and then also create a web page for that. Um, of course, you've got blogs. So blogs are really good because you can post them on organic traffic. Um, what I'll do is I'll start to post some blogs. Like firstly, um, about the, um, the 28 days, what they get, a little bit of a detailed blog, um, the 28 days for $28. But then also as well, write a longer form blog with a few testimonials about what will happen um, in the nine week challenge or however long you want to do it. Um, and just kind of about how, how that markets, um, how that, that's going to be marketed as well. A um, bit of information about what they get, how to start and everything like that will really help. Um, your website. Okay. So you always need to be updating your website with these things. So, you know, if you're, if on your website at the moment, you have like a seven day free trial or anything for the offers changing. So make sure you just talk to your web developer and that's always in alignment. Now, this is something that's always good to do every week. Uh, I mean, every month you do that. Now your posters at affiliates. Okay. So if you're involved in any chiros, physios, um, you know, your cafes in the local area, you want to get posters out about the nine week challenge and the gift card, um, whether it be little, you know, business cards you put on the, on the desk and anything like that. Um, then of course you can do webinar and live videos about it. it will work really, really well. 
um, in start in part of all your content. So when you do your content each week, you might do like an exercise demonstration on a Tuesday. Um, is making sure you're mentioning the upcoming promotion. So you're really gonna have to let your staff know and also have the links preset so you can put those in the content videos for anyone um, who does watch along. You just put it at the, at the bottom or in the comments. Um, if anyone does a podcast, you can start to talk about it in a podcast. I know a few gyms do that really well. Um, referrals are kind of covered. So your biggest referrals you wanna get of anyone who opts in, okay? At any stage, you wanna ask them for a referral to, to bring a friend down. Um, now, events on Facebook um, is really, really good. And you can also run like a launch event, like an information night if you want um, for the nine-week challenge. Like you, um, you could do that in, in December um, just to give people more info so they're ready to go. You could run a seminar on like a Wednesday night, Saturday morning kind of thing, get everyone really excited about that. Um, and then as well, running Facebook events. So you just set up a Facebook event for your $28 for 28 days. Um, and then also an event for your January challenge. So you get people registering their interest. As soon as they say they're attending and what you do is you contact them and um, you know, get them in to join up or, or take their $99 if they're a member. Um, of course, using whiteboards, just writing it down, um, you know, what, what's coming up ahead so people just see it. Um, we often put posters and things in like bathrooms and change rooms and stuff like that. Um, wherever, wherever anyone puts, um, puts up, the, um, I guess has a lot of foot traffic uh, I mean, so lockers are really good too. Uh, you've got your Facebook local group. So really good groups like Northern Beaches Buy Swap Sell for us. We actually have our own group um, called Northern Beaches Health and Fitness. Um, but any local groups, you just want to post these offers and just do it once a week, guys. Get in there, get active, add people. Um, it's just going to build up to your 250 list. Comment and engage with people. Um, really good way to pick up free leads. All you, again, you'll need is to set up uh, the Wufu form or the opt-in or the click funnel. Um, which is what I mean by that is how you're going to get their name, email, phone number if they're interested. Now, you want to add it to your email signature as well. So you'll sign off on an email. You probably send like, I don't know if you're me, I send like 30, 40 emails a day. Um, so you add it to all your email signatures. So, you know, everyone kind of knows what's happening. And all we're trying to do with this list, and, I, and you can take a screenshot of this list um, or I can send it to you, is you either use this on any marketing plan and you'll absolutely dominate everyone in your in your industry um, we've got surf clubs local network groups um, and then also your facebook private group as well for your clients now going over to the other side we've got you know facebook ads which we covered now groupon we don't do too much but i know some people have had success with that so i always always uh, run that in um, you've got your ads on instagram too um, which are really really good but instagram polls as well are massive so imagine if you did a poll every second day leading up to christmas going you know, are you looking to lose weight and shred body fat in January? If they say yes, then what you can do is you can go in and start to message those people, okay? And go, awesome, Connor, like, you know, you said you're interested. Thanks for um, clicking yes on my poll. Um, you know, are, are you ready to start the, the January challenge? So then all we're trying to do is get as much awareness, okay? And as much information as we can off people to start to sign them up. Um, you've got your Facebook public page. So with all these offers, you can go, whether it's yourself or if you have VAs that do it, um, you can go go to those guys and go look like what we're going to do is start to post like every second day um, about each offer. Um, so then you're, again, just starting to get that organic awareness. And organic's really big, even though you don't get much reach, as people do go through your page. And when the people are on pages, and you probably find yourself, sometimes you find yourself scrolling, so scrolling down and having offers on your page with links always does work well in the, in the short term and the long term as well. If you are building a messenger bot list, if you don't have a messenger bot list, make sure you reach out to me. I can help you do it. Um, but in your messenger bots is you'll send out a, a message about the, the 28 day for $28 offer. And then you'll also send a couple of messages about your January challenge as well. Bots and text messages are really big in terms of open rates now. Um, make sure you always give someone a, a clear, uh, easy way to opt out. Um, but it's a really, really great way to let your message known to the world um, and to put like five, ten dollars a day on a messenger bot. You'll build your your subscriber list a bit like an email list really quickly. Um, then your email list. Okay, so you'll have about eighteen to twenty percent open rates if you send good emails. It might be a little bit lower. Um, so for any offer, I recommend like if you haven't really marketed it by email, unless you've sent the email at least three times. So send it three times at different times a day. Make sure the ad copy is a little bit different, um, but you'll be sending these out for both offers as well. Now, the big thing we always remember to have to decide is just be crystal clear on what your offer is going to be um, in, de in December. Ours is going to be the, the discounted membership. 
um, that they pay like you know 20% of their the total membership price until um, January 13th. Now joint ventures, okay, one joint venture can change your life, right? If you get the right one, um, but what you can do in terms of this joint venture is, you know, a really good joint venture would be someone like a school. Okay, so you can go to a school and go, look, we have all these vouchers. So we want to give people Christmas gifts. So what we can do for you is we, if you email out, you know, our, our gift voucher, it's 28 days for $28. What we can do is we'll give you all that money back to the school. Okay, so you're not paying anything for the lead. You're not getting any money back. You might just have to pay for the voucher. But the thing is, is this school is going to act on your behalf. Because if you can find a network that has five, six, seven, maybe 10,000 parents on it, it can be absolutely amazing, right? In a joint venture, what it means is there's something in it for both parties, okay? So it's not just us going there and looking out for them. So you always want to make sure that, you know, um, we do a lot of things like that where it's like we'll sell challenges and give the money back to the school or the charity or whatever it might be. Um, but it's a really, really good way to spread your message. So what you could do for the schools, right? Or maybe the sporting clubs in your area is go, look, I'm running this, this really nice nine week challenge. Um, you know, here's what's included is there's a $99 startup fee. Um, you know, how about what we can do is you can email it, you can post it on your socials, on your Instagram, your Instagram story. I'll give you a special link. And then anyone that comes in on, you know, January 14th after they've joined up, I'll transfer that $99 straight back to you. So then what happens, they're starting to market on your behalf. They win, you win, everyone wins. Lots of people get to um, lose weight. Um, but you want to make sure that you're trying to build at least one joint venture every week. Um, I have a whole uh, slide deck on joint ventures. I absolutely love them. So if you, are, if you want to chat more about those, um, it completely changes your business as well. Um, then you've got outreach. Okay, so you could simply like walk along the street. Um, you might have flyers or you might just walk into business and go, hey guys, we've got 28 day dollar vouchers, you know, who wants one? Um, you can buy them for your friends and family. Um, and then also have any like awareness information about your January challenge as well. Um, other businesses is good. So you, obviously you have clients, so they all work at other businesses and workplaces. So you can really utilize those as well. So say with your January challenge, you could go, you know, guys, if everyone in the workplace joins, you get, you know, a month free together and you get to do the challenge. So then what you're starting to do in your January, in your December marketing is target businesses. Because if you can just get a group of 10 people in a business place to start a challenge together, it's going to be really, really easy. And you could do, do some things like you might waive their join up fee if they get more than five people. You can be super creative with it um, as well. Um, you've also got your, your gym ambassadors. Okay, so um, you're there, the members that have done like 500 sessions, absolutely love your location, you lost 10 kilos. Um, so making sure that you that you use them, um, you can give them a post to share on their wall. Um, you know, you might give them an offer where you know they they bring a friend in, they get they don't have to pay their their join up fee of ninety nine dollars as well. So you're starting to focus more on those those referrals too. Um, and then you've got your trainer posts and network. So I talked about our two fifty list. Okay, so what you can do to your trainers go look. We've got this January challenge. Um, for anyone that you bring in who's never been to Code 5 before, we're going to give you that 99 join-up fee when they join up. Okay, because then what you do, you start to get an army marketing on your behalf. So then in December, what they're doing is they have the offer. They're starting to post about it on their walls. They're reaching out via text message, WhatsApp, Snapchat, Instagram, whatever it might be, um, to their personal networks and starting to um, making sure that you're closing sales in, in December. Um, and what I mean by this is you want to make sure in December, it's always like contracts starting either in December or in January. So it's signed, it's locked away. There's like no release clause and, and everything like that. Um, and I did, did talk as well about sporting clubs, like really big with sporting clubs. You can just go and email every netball, soccer, football club in the area, probably take you a couple of hours or you could get a VA to do it. Um, and then anyone that's involved in VI, you want to make sure that your scripts are ready that you've got an offer for everyone, that you've changed your flyers on the, on the desk and things like that. Um, B&I is a really, really great way to open your business, uh, to run your business and to get more leads as well. So guys, we've got the plan now. We've got the gift cards, right? So you want to sell like 30, 50, 100 of those, as many as you can. 28 days for $28. You should be selling these like hotcakes. Then all we have to do is decide what the offer is going to be, right? What, what's the offer going to be in, um, in December, what are you trying to sell? Is it going to be a month free or a discounted membership? And then you're focusing on getting your current members to refer and get people to start in that January challenge to get that $99 in December. 
And guys, if we pull this off, if you use this list calculated, cal very calculatedly that I gave you, the distribution list and you map it out day by day, you're contacting that 30 to 50 people minimum every day. I have no doubt December, if you did it 100%, would probably be your biggest month of the year, but then also leading into January, that's just going to set you up to absolutely explode your business. So guys, thank you for watching. I'll pass over for a few questions now, if anyone does have any. Um, and then uh, if you do have any questions or anything, just reach out to me by email or, or private message.